these simulations provide a really unique opportunity for students to learn a whole range of skills, critical thinking, um, problem solving, communication skills, group work skills, an environment that is safe. They're not making real decisions, but it's giving them a simulated environment of real decision making. Um, you put students in a work type situation, but not actually in work. Because work, um, in, in real work, you are constrained by the organisation, whereas the students um, have an opportunity to access a whole load of different bits of information within the simulation and put them together in a new and exciting way. A lot of anecdotal evidence has talked about simulations in providing students with a real experiential learning environment where they can learn problem solving in a risk-free situation. So they can be put into a work type environment, be it airlines, hotels, retail environment, where they can go through a decision-making process and at the end of it, go through this constant feedback mechanism where they're learning through their decision-making. Visits generating reports and students basing decisions um, on that, they're actually thinking, constantly thinking about what they should be doing to what their plan was originally and how they um, go beyond that and implement that plan. The simulation is a really good um, team-based learning tool. Um, unlike um, traditional assignments where students might be given a report to write or a presentation to do, um, students with the simulation really need to work out what their strengths are and they need to play to their strengths if they want to be successful as a group. The best aspects of the simulation is that the students use teamwork and they're in constant communication with each other. Each have a role to play, an individual role, but they may need to come together as a team and collaborate. And that's exactly what happens in real life. So it's actually, it really is just reflecting what would happen in the workforce. And I think that's a great skill that um, they're learning from that, to be able to interact, to compromise, to understand why decisions are made the way they are, even if they don't agree with them, to go uh, coherently forward and be able to then communicate that to other staff members. The second benefit of um, the simulation is the fact that it brings together different departments of management that students have learned across their degree into a single environment where they can see the outcomes of putting together HR strategies, marketing strategies, and operational strategies. The big thing is that it gives the students the chance to um, put things in, put their theory into practice, work together in teams. Um, as an educator, what I particularly like is that they are highly motivated. I'm never sure whether that's because of the competitive elements of it or whether it's because of the novelty of the pedagogy. So they're always operating in this kind of dynamic environment where they are learning from each other, they're um, learning from what other teams are doing, they're having to respond to, to a competitive environment where there are other airlines, and so they're, they're constantly learning. Um, and simulations we've found has really engaged students in their learning process, and they get excited about the simulation because they can see that it's actually tapping into a lot of concepts they've learned in their degree program to date. It certainly motivates the, the students in terms of if they're doing well and seeing results, they do get very excited. It is something that they look forward to each week. It also means that they're accountable for their own actions in a team environment. And so students get very engaged with that process and they, they really enjoy it and they find it an exciting way to learn. Because it isn't a traditional approach. 